What's up, guys? This is Mike Rock with Game Spartans and Fast Track Gaming, and we're coming to you live with a tutorial uh, on how to fix the audio lag for those of you who stream from your console through a video capture device to your PC and then your gaming platform like Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. So I wasn't able to recreate the problem. I fixed the problem on uh, my sh through my Streamlabs. Uh, streaming software, but I wasn't able to uh, recreate the problem fast enough to create this video. So this is for the people that already know you're here, you're frustrated, you want to fix the audio lag problem, you know it exists, and you're experiencing that problem right now, or at least recently. Um, all you have to do, so let's talk about the problem first. The problem is, is that when you're playing through from your console, through your video capture card, and then to your PC, your streaming software like Streamlabs, uh, OBS, uh, OBS, or XSplit Broadcaster will have this audio lag. The audio will play after the video and it creeps, creates problems for when you're trying to play and when your viewers are trying to watch your stream. So, when I first encountered this problem, because I'm, you know, I am a console player, uh, I um, went online and I was looking for the solutions, uh, video solutions, you know, YouTube and stuff to see what kind of fix was already out there. And I wasn't satisfied with the answers. And I'll give you the most common solution that people were giving. They were saying that you needed to go over here to settings. So we're going to go over here to advanced audio settings and mixer. And they were saying that right here in the sync offset, you wanted to add if it uh, uh, the, the amount of time that you were getting from your, uh, your audio lag. You wanted to put that in here, uh, that number in here in order to decrease the amount of audio lag that you were you were getting. And I had a problem with that even as they were saying it, because in theory, if I, if my audio is dragging behind my video and I add more lag, which is what this is to my audio, then I would increase the amount of audio lag and not decrease the amount of, um, amount of audio lag. And then there's also the fact that you can't put in a negative number because you can't, when it comes to recording, you can't speed things up. You can only slow them down. So you can't add. So if you were to use that that application, you would literally have to create a lag in the video in order for it to catch up. But then you really wouldn't be able to play uh, the game that you are. And then it would be really hard for you to um, uh, to function in that environment. So. We're going to give you the real solution. This is the real solution that we found, and uh, it's going to require require an extra st extra step uh, while you are playing, while you are streaming. But trust me when I tell you this little extra step is nothing compared to the problems that are created when you have all that audio lag uh, keeping you from uh, creating a, a healthy gaming environment for your viewers. So if you go down here, uh, let's, let's go over here to set uh, our, our overall settings first. And this is the same for OBS, Streamlabs, uh, XSplit Broadcaster. You just have to know your streaming software and where to get these to these settings from. So if I go over here and I click settings, we go down here to audio, and you can see we've got the uh, different devices that um, our software will listen to. Um, for uh, for audio. So I've got my speakers, the output, um, my, de my desktop audio is coming through my Realtek high definition audio. And then we scroll down and I'm using the Samsung CO1U Pro mic uh, for my microphone. Now, for whatever reason, the PC uh, listens to our video capture card as both like the same settings as a webcam and from the audio side, the same settings as a microphone. So what I did was I went down here to mic auxiliary device two. I located my video capture card, which is right here, USB 3.0 HD audio capture. And I selected that as my second my second auxiliary device or mic device for Streamlabs to listen to. So we're gonna click done after we've selected that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down over here to our video capture card itself. For me, I've got it uh, labeled as game scene. So I go inside of there, we go to properties, we scroll down, we make sure, you'll see right here where it says capture audio only, and, uh, and then you'll see that the custom audio device is my capture card. So we're gonna go ahead 
and I just wanted you to see that actually. But we're gonna go up up here to the mixer, the advanced audio settings. And all we're gonna do is really simple. You're gonna go on here, uh, click your video capture card to monitor off. You're gonna go up here to where you have your um, uh, audio capture from your video capture device listed as a microphone. And we're gonna switch that to monitor only mute output. Once we're done with that, I already have my game scene. I don't think that that's not even going to matter at this point, but you can go ahead and mute that if you want. And then we come up here and I have this muted as well. We're gonna unmute it. And now you can hear the audio again. And if I move my controller over, you hear absolutely no lag in the audio. If I go to a game, so let's go to a multiplayer game. I'm going to cut this next part out so that we can get straight to the game and I can just show you the results of changing that over. So we go to quick play and we're gonna fast forward and you'll see the next thing. All right, so we're in a game now. <clears throat> we're not gonna be here very long. I'm just gonna go to the back so I don't shot in the AI. Weapons hot. We're gonna go to our nearest wall, which is right here. We're gonna aim and fire. You hear it, automatic, instant sound, no audio lag. So we've fixed the problem overall. Uh, now again, I'm not gonna pretend like I had uh, an audio lag when I created this video. I had already fixed my problem. Um, this is for, and let me mute this so we don't have to hear the sound while I'm talking to you. We had already fixed the problem and I wasn't able to rec recreate the problem in time to share this video with you. If I can, if you need me to do that in the future, just let me know and I will. But, uh, if you are watching this video, you already have the audio lag. So don't take my word for anything. Try the settings and see if they work for you. If they don't, send me a message. I really want to know. Uh, I have no reason to believe that this won't fix, uh, I would say, 80 to 90% of the audio lag that people have in their devices. And now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to talk about the one additional step that you will now have to take while you are streaming. Again, not a big issue. If you come on over here to the microphone uh, settings, when you switch, now if, let me turn on the audio. It's going to be a little hard to, to hear me with the audio up, but I need you to hear the difference between uh, not taking the additional step and then taking the additional step. So I'm going to unmute it. You can hear the audio while I'm talking. If I switch over to a new scene, which is my start scene, you can hear the background music for the start of uh, my stream, but you can still hear the game audio. If I go over to the waiting room, the game audio is so overpowering, you can't even hear the background music in, in the waiting room, and which is what I use to talk to, uh, to my viewers in between each round or session, depending on the game that I'm playing. So we go back to the game, and here's the fix. It's the mute button. All you have to do before you switch to a scene is click the mute button on and off. And when you click the mute button really depends on you. Just make sure that you're clicking the mute for the audio captured through your video capture card device listed again as a microphone. So I'm gonna go back, so let's let's mute that. There you go, no audio. You go over here to your start scene and then just before you start the game, so, or before I join the waiting room. So I'm gonna go into the waiting room, right? And again, it switches over. You can now hear the background music for the waiting room. Now we're gonna jump into the game. Now what I would do personally, I wouldn't start the gaming audio before I left the waiting room because the waiting room doesn't need to hear the game audio. I would just really quickly jump over to game and unmute it. Another solution that you can use is I have an, an Ableton launch pad that I programmed to be able to push buttons and to uh, set off certain hotkeys, which includes the mute and unmute for the audio capture in my, through my video capture card. And I just programmed it so that I can mute and unmute it simply by pressing a few buttons. And it works great. So there you have it. There is the solution. It is an actual solution. Uh, you're just bypassing the audio. You're not listening. Your Streamlabs or OBS or XSplit broadcaster will no longer be listening to, um, uh, to the audio through your video capture device. It will be listening through it from a microphone setting. It works. It works very well. And if you have any problems in the process, just send me an email at either MikeRock 
at gamespartans.com or fasttrackgg at gmail.com. If you got value out of this video, if I helped you out in any kind of way or if it just provided you with the information that you were looking for, please consider hitting the like, follow, or subscribe button. I would appreciate it, and I look forward to bringing you guys more videos in the future, man. Again, my name is Mike Rock. I am with Game Spartans and Fast Track Gaming, and you guys have a great day, man. Take care.